So you guys, we went to the store and we couldn't even get the bass into our damn car because of what? Because people run off with the baskets, foreigners, homeless people. So now you can't wheel the basket 20 feet past the fucking entrance. It's not even homeless people, it's, you know who it is, but Mexican people. Illegals. They actually have to hire, um, from what I was told, 99 cent only store, they actually have to hire people now to go to the neighborhoods nearby and get the baskets back because they take the baskets. So if you're a person like me that has a disability, which, yeah, I do, um, then it's a pain in the ass. And, you know, um, you're just fucking shit out of luck. Right. Because they take the, ba you know, they, they steal the baskets. I mean, it's just... These are things that us as Americans didn't have to deal with. You know what I mean? Like, these are things that we would never even think of. The shit that other people do, we would never even fucking consider stealing certain shit. But these people, yeah. All right. They'll steal something if it's not bolted fucking down. Okay. So, um, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but ask your parents how shit was back in their day. Um, as far as, you know, stores. Did they have tons of security? Did they have tons of cameras? Was there... You know what I mean? It's been ever since we've had an influx of um, illegals and, and people like that. Not to mention the prices of everything are astronomical, too. So, um, people are struggling their asses off. Um, so, yeah, you guys. Basically, I didn't get my ultrasound done there because the uh, lady, the evil rush lady was there. And I'm not going to deal with her shit. Because next time somebody fucking hurts me like that, I'm going to fuck somebody up in the face. So, it's better I just don't even deal with her. So, I uh, got my appointment for UCSD October 4th. I'm going to go there and do that. Um, I guess he's saying there's something he wants to do, some kind of stock class, maybe we'll go to that, um, on that the Friday. So we're going to go to Chipotle, and I'm going to go into my bank, get a printout over here, and, uh, make sure he's good there. It's always good to get a printout every now and then, just because it's something you can actually see, because online they trick you. And, um, then after that, I guess we're going to go home. What are we doing tonight? Uh, run a house. Haunted house or haunted house is because on a trail, Balboa. So you're not, we're not going to. Uh, you don't want to go to the other one. The other one. You said you want to go. Oh. Okay. Well, we probably got to go to. Um, uh, we're gonna have to go to Savage House first because haunted trail is a longer wait. So oh, we'll go there first. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go to Savage House first. I can't use any of the coupons Friday or Saturday, so. Whatever we're gonna do, we're gonna have to do it today, and we're gonna have to do it Sunday. That's it, I guess. Actually, Savage House, I can go to Savage House any day. It's it's Haunted Hotel and Haunted uh, Trail, but I think I'm cool with two. I don't have to go to three. I'm cool with the Haunted um, Trail and fucking um, Savage House, depending on what he wants to do or whatever. So, yeah, we'll probably be doing that tonight. Just change my top or whatever. And like that. Yeah, we're gonna um, go get some Chipotle and fucking fuck. That's what happens when you drink alcohol. Yeah, I did drink some of that alcohol, you guys. Um, anyways, get that out there and vote. And try your very best to really look up who you're voting for. I know everybody was paying attention to just the presidents, but look at the stuff in your individual counties. Look at the Congress people. Look at the props, you know, like Prop 61, Prop 52, Prop 54. You know, look up that kind of stuff. Like, really take the time, because I think everybody forgets to have the little stuff, you know, because although the president stuff affects you, what it can affect you even more is the stuff going on in your individual county. So you want to make sure that you're checking that out and you're um, not just voting just for president and get down to everybody else. You know, fuck everybody else. Do your research. It doesn't take that long. Um, you should kind of do what I'm doing where you get a piece of paper and you write it down, the prop and how you're voting yes or no. So that way when you go into voter where you send it off, you already know what you're doing. Um, if you can, get a paper ballot. Don't do electronic because there's been a lot of, um, I guess, corruption going on where you vote for one person and it switches back to the other. This has actually been happening to Trump people, um, so make sure that you get a copy of it. If you have any trouble, um, don't just assume that it went there and get a printout of it and they have to provide you one, and if they try not to, then raise hell on that bitch. Um, people are, um, the Democrats are really just fucking scandalous, but anyways, Republicans, and I guess the Trump camp is asking, if you have time and you're not doing anything, you're going to shoot the shit. Make sure you watch to see if there's any buses and stuff like that. People being busted, voting multiple times, um, people coming out multiple times. 
you know, they're flooding a lot of people over here right now. Um, it's all over news as far as, you know, I guess the real news. I wouldn't say you're going to find this on CNN. But if you look up Infowars.com, Alex Jones, George Report, um, Veritas Project, you'll see they're flooding in a lot of people, trying to get people to vote just in time for the election so they can get people to vote how they want. I think it's really fucking scandalous to have a bunch of people coming here that were never in this country, that don't pay taxes in this country, um, that are just showing up, and then the next week they get to vote. That's fucking wrong on so many levels. The way they're doing everything is really fucking backwards. Um, and the bubble's gonna pop. I mean, when is it gonna pop, you guys, when we get up to 40, 000, 40 million? In, 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 or what is it, 40 trillion? I mean, how, how much debt do you think we can get made before it pops? No, it's already there. Can we handle 40 trillion? Because we can't even handle. No. So. 40 trillion is ridiculous. It would take 5,000 years and a million a day to pay that off. Wow. So. But see, the problem is, is the way this everyone thinks is I'm only worried about myself. They don't think about the future. I honestly don't think we got another 5,000 years. But I think God's going to be here before that. But, you know, let's not make our lives miserable in the, me- in the meantime and, you know, do a bunch of bad stuff. Um. For those of you that are from a Democrat, if you like the way your life's been going, if you like the higher taxes, the higher food prices, the higher prices of entertainment, um, for those of the prices of rent, for those of you that um, love Disneyland, the prices of them have gone up. They're also part of the Illuminati. Um, Walt Disney was a 33-degree mason. They actually have secret doors in Disney that um, they've had meetings at, and you can look it up online as well. Um, you know, places, places like that. I mean, just look at, I mean, look at, they're the most expensive theme park in the world. They also have um, outbreaks of diseases that are happening. I mean, you guys are, you know, the fact that some of these um, things are saying there's a $3,000 pass, it's insane. You know, this was never how it was supposed to be. If you guys Google images and you go under Disneyland tickets, you'll see Disneyland tickets for a dollar. So, um, it's, it's mind-boggling to me that uh, people are willing to pay uh, $400 per person for a um, seasonal pass, and you can't get on any fucking rides, there's a bunch of fucking foreigners, and you're just outnumbered. Uh, me being an African-American woman, especially lighter-skinned, I am pretty much one in a million. Everywhere I go, if I do happen to see a black person, they tend to be darker-skinned, um, so I'm really freaking rare. Um, if you're a white person in your area, whether it be Texas or Arizona, I know you guys are having a flood of foreigners come in there. And I'm, I'm glad that you guys are standing up for yourselves with guns and you guys are defending your stuff. But here in this liberal fucking California cesspool, people feel like it's racist if you speak about something. I don't think it's racist at all. It's your country. Your family fought and died for it. And if your family was in the military, believe me, there's somebody in your gene pool that was a part of either the Civil War or... The Iraq service. war or some Iraq type of war. service if you're white or you're African American you know in other countries um, they actually have to do a long thing you can't just go to the Netherlands like it's shot or thrown in prison for 15 years well you can't just go to the Netherlands you have to be an educated person and you know I, I you know the problem that I have with this is is not just their their lack of um, knowledge the problem I have with them is a lot of them are extremely ugly we're letting ugly job of the hut looking people come to this country i mean and I'm, I'm being honest i mean come on look around your areas you guys you guys know exactly what i'm talking about they're ugly you wouldn't want to fuck these people even if you know they were coming at you you wouldn't want to fuck these people so why would they're you want to why would you want to give them your free shit now if we let some bitches come from hungry i'd be like okay well the bitch is hot you know at least that they're hot foreigners but these people are not attractive we're letting in people from what are these countries saying? South America, Cuba, Middle East. No, but we're not getting, we're not getting, we're not getting women. We're getting a lot of ugly ass men. We're not getting you know, the worst, of the, worst. the worst of the worst. You're not getting, you know, these really hot fucking women and men. You're getting people that have criminal records in Mexico, criminal records yeah. in South America, criminal records in their country. And they think by coming over here, they're worth slaves, white people, yeah. so they're gonna bring their shit over here and then bring rack up a criminal record over here. Mm-hmm. And then for, you know, for some of you guys, I'm urging you black people, the ones that watch this, please get your shit together and go out there and vote and vote properly, you guys. This is serious what's happening right now. If we don't get this shit under wrapped, we're not going to even have a chance to vote in our own country. And that's pretty sad. The fact that, I mean, you guys, we talk so much about Martin Luther King and JFK and all that stuff. And, you know, the Frank Sinatra's Marilyn Rose, we're going to lose our, Amer- our Americanism. We're going to lose it. 
okay? It's gonna be fucking George Lopez and, and fucking shit like that and Jennifer Lopez and that's gonna be it and we're gonna be second class citizens in our own fucking country. People died. I mean, people shed blood, you know what I mean, for this country, for this is ours. And all them people saying, you guys, that it's, oh, it's Mexico, it's been. If they wanted this shit, they should have fought us and took it, and they didn't. They didn't win it. They didn't do it right. Go over to Mexico and see how it fucking is, okay? You got people with missing limbs, and, you know, the streets and stuff like that. Everyone's selling their ass on every corner. I mean, you get a taco, and then right next, literally two feet away, someone's selling ass. So... You know, obviously they want to be like us. People want to be like us more because they're flooding over here. Everything we do is better. Everything we do is better. Um, Our advancement technology. When's the last time you hear Mexico coming up with something? Is Coca-Cola a a, a Mexican brand or is it American? When's the last time Mexico's come up with something that we needed? Their music, we don't need them for music. We don't need them for style. We don't need them for sports. We don't need them for entertainment. We don't need them for... Even agriculture, because we got fucking robots, and enough Americans are out of work, they totally take the jobs. We don't need them to do Carl's Jr., because half the time they can't even make fucking hot fries. We don't need them to work at our American eateries, and, and you drive up in the drive and you hear them talking fucking Spanish. We don't need them really for shit. Um, so, the whole cowboy thing they try to take, that's from us. Everything that they try to do is, is a fucking copycat, and it's a really horrible ripoff, okay? Um... So, I don't understand why we feel the need to put our kids through this. I mean, you guys are saying your kids are going to be going to school with these people, and they're going to gang up on them. And even if they don't gang up on them, and they think they become friends with them, who wants to have your children around people that don't value education? I know, I went to school with Mexican girls and boys, and all the Mexican girls I knew never wanted to go to school. They all were like, I want to be a mom. That was their thing. I want to be a mom. That was it. And I want to drop out. They put on their makeup in class. The boys are tagging up the desk. You can't even get up to go answer an equation on the on the on the board without coming back and something's been robbed from you. They're robbing from their own people. You got pregnant Mexican girls. I don't know in the school how many pregnant and I mean fully pregnant, like seven months pregnant Mexican girls it was. And I wasn't even a senior. I mean I was talking about tenth grade. Okay. And they steal from her. Okay. Um just just how it is. And I know for a fact because when we had African Americans in you and I had to go through hell to get us anything for us because it was all about Mexicans. They get to have the ranchero music and they get to have their stuff. Old town over here in San Diego used to be Indian. I know. Native American. I was a little girl and I went down there and it was still being built. And it was Native American. Somehow it's Mexican now. Now it's Mexican. Okay. Knoxbury Farm, same thing. They had a lot of Indian stuff. I remember going there. They had giant teepees. They had tons of stuff. Now it's like nothing, right? Now there's Mexican stuff. Um, if you guys like that shit, ask yourself this. How many Mexican friends do you have? No, not people you work with. People that are really close to you, that you spend Thanksgiving with, that you really that are really your friends that would take a bullet for you. You answer that fucking question, and then you decide if you want to keep letting these fucking foreigners come in here. Because I can tell you this right now, if they have to choose between your white or black ass and their own, they're going to choose their own over tenfold. And you'll always be wet out to them, and you'll always be negro to them, and that's the words that they use behind your back. They're not your friends. Even if they say they're your friends, they don't like you. They hate you. They hate the white man. They feel inferior to the white man for numerous reasons. The white man's intellect, the white man's innovation, um, the white man's looks. I mean, let's face it, most Mexican men are very small and they're short. Um, you know what I mean? Mexican men aren't known for having giant cocks either. Um, the majority of them, if you see them around town, what are they doing, you guys? They're fucking, they got trucks that say, what is this? What kind of trucks they got? Blowers and fucking, what is it? Oh, shit, I don't know. They got all kinds of trucks that came from claiming people on their taxes that ain't fucking here. I mean, the trucks for businesses. They're doing a lot of grunt work. Shit work. Oh, well, yeah. They're doing all these trunk, uh, tow trucks and and uh, drug gravel trucks and all this, you know, hauling all that kind of crap. I'll do your yard type shit. So, I mean... FedEx. Tons of FedEx. 
there's tons of Mexican gin. This is not it. just, you guys, this isn't just, oh, they're taking a little bit of job, the agriculture jobs. They no, everything. they're taking everything. The little jobs in your desk that you take, UPS. like IHOP, yeah, FedEx, they're taking UPS. every job. It's not just one job. Vons is, I'm starting to see more than Coca-Cola, there. Um, Starbucks, I'm starting to see more than there. They're fucking everywhere. That, they take over whole Wendy's. It was not supposed to be where it was only one race. And this is the thing. It's not even There's white no people. Diversity. There's no diversity. I'm. You know what? I'm going to start calling them motherfuckers. Jack I'm going to start box, calling. Wendy's, McDonald's. Yeah, everywhere. Look, you know the job that you would take if you really were desperate and you're like, man, I need something. They're taking all kids. that. High school yeah. kids used to be the ones working at the fast food restaurants, not grown people in their 40s. Yeah. So now it's grown ass people. In their 40s, taking the fucking jobs, yeah. Trying to raise kids off of it. That's why they want the $15 hour minimum wage right. for themselves. Not for your white ass or black ass. It's going to be for the them. the minimum wage low because if they go up to 15 it's going to fuck everybody on rent, food, and everything else. They're just going to raise the prices of everything. They need to freeze inflation, you guys. They need to freeze. They need to lower the price of rent. They need but to anyways, fucking- I'm tired personally of, you know, like places like Sprinkles charging these uppity ass white prices and using Candace Nelson's fucking face and using her as a fucking oh hello buy my white person products but in the back you got what look like 20 fucking what illegals in the back so that's my problem with some of the white people too is they're the ones hiring them they're the ones letting them in the CEOs of the companies the manager was hired by someone above them and the person above them was a white person so white people need to be bitch slapped a little bit too like what the fuck you know hire your own people you know at least in and out hires fucking some white people but Jesus I mean this is really getting bare out there you guys I mean, they, you know, black people are only 13% of the population. I don't know how the fuck that happened with, with honestly, all the... They're in prison. Either in prison or aborted or fucking just died from sickness because of the GMOs and black people are kind of like Native American people. We just cannot handle all the poison that's in the food. That's why black people really don't live to be a certain age. But anyways, I just wanted to make this video. Um, some of you guys are replying to me and stuff like that um, regarding the 3LW video. So the bitch that had a lot to say... Um, Naturi never did anything but Notorious, so, um, you really need to fucking check yourself. Um, the bitch hasn't done anything since then, um, so you guys can keep blaming Keely all you fucking want, but at the end of the day, Keely's who you're gonna fucking remember, you're not gonna remember Naturi, and, you know, for you dark-skinned people, you need to get your fucking hands out of your asses and start, um, stop doing dumb shit in the street, okay? You know the law's against you, you know fucking... Everything's against you, so stop doing fucking dumb shit. If you if you get out of trouble and you happen to get out of trouble, stop doing it. People do the stupidest shit. They get out of trouble, they get a jail out of free card, and they do something stupid right after that. You need to fucking remember that the law is to work against you, okay? It's not for you. It's to fucking lock you up. If your skin is dark, you really need to pay attention to that. Whether you Mexican or you fucking dark skin black. You can't keep doing the same fucking shit. Your fucking Negroes will not be there for you. Your homeboys will not be there for you when you're in court, okay? You want to go to fucking jail with them in prison? Go ahead. See how it is. See how it fucking is in there. Then you'll be working for, what, $2 a day or whatever the... How much they fucking give you? $2 a day to make some, what, license plates? Mm-hmm. I'd rather be out fucking bitches if I was you guys, They make you do more than that in prison now. They make you do all kinds of shit. Construction work. Uh, cleaning up the roads, making license plates. They fucking get that they, they have a contract with people and it's dirty underground of getting free labor out of the prisoners and then fucking paying them nothing for it and having them build real nice shit and then the contractors and all the government people, the governor and all the people in the state profit off of it. Yep. So, so it's in their benefit to have people locked up in prison because they get a motherfucker supposed to be paying 40 bucks an hour for $2 an hour. Yeah, so, if you guys want to be a part of that, I would rather be out fucking some bitches. I mean, I would rather be out fucking my wife and maybe some bitches and stuff like that. But you guys also need to get your fucking heads out of your asses. You know, the reason, and I'm going to tell you, because one of you guys was, the way you guys, some of you guys, the way you say shit on the comments is ridiculous. The way some of you men come at women is the reason why you guys can get any pussy. The way you guys come at women is fucked up. You guys don't know how to talk to women at all. You either or rude, or you just, you chivalry, like, it, you know, simple shit, I mean, if you want to know how to treat women, look at the 50s movies, and look how they fucking did it, just look at what they did, look at how they talked to a woman, you guys look at a woman like she's a piece of meat, and then you wonder why the bitch look, ends up taking half and treats you like a piece of meat, you know, you gotta try to just talk to her and be nice to her, get to know her, um, and you don't have to spend 
a thousand dollars on a girl. But you know, do something nice. You know, don't try to take a bitch um, somewhere expensive if you know that's not your lifestyle. Because you're gonna give a bitch a, a mind thing, and she's gonna think that you got more than you got. Don't take a bitch to a two hundred dollar dinner if you can't afford something like that on a regular basis. Because a bitch is gonna start expecting that. Don't take a bitch out on a boat. Don't take a bitch out in all these places if you can't. Because a bitch, it's, it's, it's gonna get old real quick if you can't continue that, right? Right? You ain't gonna be able to do it. So just be honest with the bitch. Take a bitch out for a burrito. See how she is. I think it's better to take a bitch out for a burrito because it, it lets her, it lets you know how she is. That she is she picky about what she eats. Is she anal? You know, like is she like oh I'm gonna eat salad. You know, you gotta figure out how you like somebody. You know, food is really important. I think if you find a bitch that likes the same food as you, you guys are perfect match. And the reason why I say that is is because that's a big part of your life. You live with somebody and they don't want the same food as you. That means. You that's comp you know what I mean? That makes shit complicated. If you got somebody in your house that's a freak with certain shit, but they won't eat certain shit at all, then that's gonna be a, a match made in hell. But you guys need to fucking just try to be a little bit more sh chivalrous, okay? And just try to do that, because you guys have lost that. Men had jobs in the 50s, just like you guys have jobs now, but the way the men carried themselves is a lot differently. You know, you guys are always saying, ooh, sexy as fuck, and find out Men didn't say that type of shit to women. And you wonder why women give you a fucking stink eye and walk off. I mean, and a lot of women are terrified to have sex, you guys. This is what I'm hearing online. Because all the single moms, they don't want to be a single mom. So you got half the women that are single moms, okay? And then the other half is a bitch from hell because they don't want to end up with a single mom. Because they're seeing what you guys are doing. You guys are hitting it and fucking taking off and the bitches are stuck with kids. So then you wonder why bitches, you can't get anybody to fuck you. How can a girl, how can you, how can a girl will fuck you guys? If they think you're going to take off when shit gets tough. You know what I'm saying? You don't think that adds to it, though, a little bit? That women aren't one to fuck guys because... They think you're going to take off. That's what's happening. It's an epidemic. The fucking weather, it's humid, you guys, but it's fucking it's cold. And um, look at all these people getting this original $6 thick burger. Mm. You know damn well I know $6. It's, it's more like $9, right? Because they're going to charge you extra for fries. Man, fries is cheap. Tell me how how big are the bags that they make in the fries. Anyways, I'm fucking hungry. Wait, hopefully we get some fucking Chipotle in a minute. I'm fucking starving. I, I have fucking alcohol in my system. I've been eating something. This is the fucking place from hell right here. Opera fucking Ration Samahan. The worst fucking place you can possibly go. Look them up on Yelp. Opera Samahan, Mira Mesa, San Diego, fucking California, 9212, motherfucking six. Look them up. Look at that beautiful flag, you guys. That is a beautiful fucking American flag. Yeah, being pissed away. Being like, pissed away. Corrupt politicians. Yep. And then we got the fucking raghead. That's a whole other issue. Laughing about 9-11. So, if you guys like fucking cheese dick, uncircumcised cheese dick, then go for it. But I'm telling you guys, you guys are making a mistake. You guys need to look at men from Hungary and look at men from Switzerland. Mm. That is real gorgeousness. So anyways, thanks for the comments, and I wish you guys up later. I'm out. Bye.